Good afternoon, I'm Jessica Fuller from Class 601, Professor Stein. Today I wanted to do a geometry lesson and I wanted to show how geometry is seen throughout everyday life, shapes and sizes wherever we go. We see in our in architecture, floor tilings and whatnot. So I wanted to do a lesson on tessellations using everyday math standards 10.2 and 10.2a. First let's ask ourselves what is a tessellation? Okay, a tessellation is a is created when a shape is repeated over and over, covering the entire plane without any gaps or overlaps. So in other words, tiling. The word tessellation comes from the Greek word tesserus, which means four in English. Let's move over to the rules of tessellation. Only three regular polygons will actually tessellate on the Euclidean plane. Triangles at 60 degree angles, squares at 90 degree angles, and hexagons at 120 degree angles. Now regular polygons mean that all sides and internal angles are equal. So I want to show exactly what I mean right here with my triangular tessellation. That this is the vertex, the midpoint. All the angles internally will cross and be the same exact angle. So in this case, for the triangle, they will all be 60 degrees. Let's move over to the vocabulary for tessellations. Our prior knowledge already know we already know that what a triangle and square and hexagon are. These are our regular polygons. The vertex is our midpoint where all the corners will meet and cross. And then the three um, different aspects of tessellation are the translation, so the shape will actually slide left, right, up or down. Rotation, the shape will turn on its side, either right, left, or upside down. And then the reflection, where the shape is reflected in the plane, similar to a mirror image. So I want to show the example looking at my square tessellation. I've made uh, one and four. This is a translation where it would just slide across the vertex. Still the greens are on the top and the blues are on the bottom. The next would be a rotation. One and two would be rotations because all I would have to do is turn on its side this box and then I would still be rotating just one and two. And then the reflection is the mirror image so either boxes one and three or two and four both are reflected over the, over the plane just like a mirror image. If I covered this up this would be the mirror image reflecting over the plane. Now I wanted to show that one thing that's really important, make sure you have all your materials available to your students. Pattern blocks, construction paper, scissors, and markers so they can be as creative as, I, as they would like to be. And in closing, one final note is I wanted to choose geometry, a geometry lesson that was fun and also educational. And tessellations would meet the needs of visual students and also spatial and mathematical logical. Thank you.